Hi viewers, this is Mohan Vamsi Pentakota. I'm a data warehousing and business intelligence consultant. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create database instance in MicroStrategy. So by now, you know how to install MicroStrategy, how to create MicroStrategy metadata, how to connect MicroStrategy application to the metadata, how to create a project source. So, now what left? Creating meaningful reports and graphs to provide more insight into your business. In order to achieve that, you need to create a connection between MicroStrategy application and your data warehouse. It's nothing but you need to create a connection through which MicroStrategy can talk to the data warehouse and extract data and convert the data into meaningful reports and graphs. To achieve that, we need to create a database instance. A database instance is a connection between MicroStrategy application and the data warehouse. Before starting this session, I assume the viewers of this video understand how to create an ODBC connection and what is a database, what is a data warehouse. So now let's get started and see how to create a database instance. To create a database instance, double click on the project source and a pop-up window asks for the login ID and password. In this case, the login ID is administrator and the password is blank. So to create a database instance, open administration pre-menu and then open Configuration Manager stream menu and click on Database Instance. Right-click, select New, and click on Database Instance. I need to select what is the database connection type I'm going to use. In this example, I'm going to use Microsoft Access. Now I need to create a new database connection. A database connection is nothing but it's a data source name and database login which is used to access the data warehouse. Selecting new. When I select new you will ask me for a new database connection. Now, select appropriate data warehouse ODBC connection. In this case, I'm going to select MicroStrategy Tutorial Data. Now, we need to create a database login which can access the database. Click on new. Provide a username and password. I would like to mention if you're working in a real-time project and if you're using a data warehouse created on SQL Server, Teradata, Oracle, Netezza, etc., etc., they might be having a username and password and you can get the username and password for your data warehouse from your database administrator and you need to provide that username and password in database log. Now click on OK. Now click on OK again. Now you can find training database instance name under configuration managers. 
database instances. Thanks for watching my videos and feel free to ask questions.